transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is no longer as risky, U.S. top general. The transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States to Ukraine is no longer as risky as it was before, states the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States, General Charles Brown. In a conversation with journalists, Brown stated that the risk of escalation during the transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is not as high as it might have initially seemed. In 2022, Russia publicly stated that providing such weapons to Ukraine would supposedly cross a red line. At the same time, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, stated that people in academic circles, analytical centers, or other forms of analysis refer to this as declaratory policy. This refers to statements made by high-ranking officials discussing what they will or will not do if certain actions occur. Top military officials speaking on the background have pointed to Russian military doctrine specifically as it relates to so-called existential risk, saying that giving Ukraine such weapons could compel a nuclear response from Russia or spur it to attack a NATO partner, the source writes. The US general stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. Those are the things that we pay attention to. You know what is the likelihood of escalation based on different capabilities and different actions, he said. Last year, Ukrainian soldiers struck Russian airfields in Luhansk and Berdyansk. Information emerged in the media that the armed forces of Ukraine used American long-range ATA CMS missiles for the strike, which were provided in small quantities. Later, the U.S. confirmed this information, specifying that the missiles provided to our soldiers had a range of up to 165 kilometers. As early as October 2023, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba stated that the supply of ATA CMS to Ukraine would be ongoing. Recently, the American agency NBC News reported that the White House is working to provide Ukraine with new, powerful, long-range ballistic missiles. Dozens of worshippers died after a bus headed to an Easter conference apparently lost control and plunged off a cliff in South Africa's Limpopo province according to South African Broadcasting Corporation. The crash claimed the lives of 45 people and one is seriously injured. The country's transport department said in a statement, the passengers were pilgrims traveling from Botswana's capital, Gaborone. To an Easter service in the town of Moria, Limpopo health official Fofai Ramathuba told South African broadcaster ENCA that body parts from separate crash victims may have been put into different body bags, which is why so far only nine bodies have been identified. Transport Minister Sindasai Chikunga, who went to the scene of the incident, has sent condolences to the bereaved families in Botswana government following the horrific bus crash. Chikunga says the government will repatriate the bodies. We want really to extend our heartfelt condolences to the families but also to the government of Botswana and to the people of Botswana and as South Africa we will try everything to assist so that they go back to their country and families to be buried with dignity. President Cyril Ramaphosa expressed his condolences to Botswana and to loved ones of the crash victims, a statement from his office said. <laughs>
set of views on the election. I'm not clear on the